Tech fans, what's up? Elric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. We've got some awesome news coming from Team Green today. Those fans of the GTX 10 series video cards, you are in for a nice surprise because now that entire series of video cards is moving over to the laptop world. That's right. So now portable gaming is going to get complete GTX 1060, 1070, and 1080 notebooks. That's right. And what the most awesome thing about this, I think, is that gone, gone, gone are the series of M. That's right. These are no longer going to be mobile chipset laptops. You will get full Pascal. That's right, baby. Everything that you got with Pascal before, Ansel, all of those special features that they get are all going to be in this new series of 10 gaming laptops. And there's just so many things that have been redesigned about it to make it really, really appealing. Things like overclocking directly out of the box. That's right, NVIDIA is working with their partners so that you're gonna get even more performance possibly out of your laptop than you're going to be able to get even out of your desktop because there'll be a lot of different things that are going on. All of the electronics, everything that has to do with electronic engineering is being completely done from the ground up inside of these new 10 series notebooks. This way you'll be able to game and go on the go gaming for a long period of time. Even though I don't have performance numbers right here in my hot hands, you guys have seen Pascal has surely surpassed Maxwell in every capacity, and you're seeing about two times better performance on the new laptops than you were in the previous generation. So that just means better gaming all around. Another crazy thing about this launch is NVIDIA has told all of us that they have spent actually more money on this launch than almost anything that they've ever done before. There are going to be millions and millions of laptops released, and these things will be released actually tomorrow morning. So if you guys check back on the site tomorrow morning, I'll actually have links to all the products. And all these laptops will be VR ready, and some will be as thin as 18 millimeters thick and as light as four pounds. Plus, with a bunch of new games being released for VR, the time for portable VR is getting better all the time. Now you can actually have a space battle while sitting on top of Mount Everest. In previous generation laptops, 60 hertz was basically the target that everyone was trying to hit. Well, guess what? That's all in the past now. On these new series of notebooks, they're gonna feature G-Sync and have 120 hertz and even more refresh rate. So that's pretty killer. In the desktop world, 25 by 14 monitors are very, very popular. And now NVIDIA with the 10 series will be the first laptops in the world to feature 25 by 14 displays. And on this screenshot right here, you guys can see the performance at both 120 hertz gaming and at 4K gaming. And even though all the games aren't over 60 frames per second in 4K gaming, you can still see there's some awesome numbers for portability. In the beginning of the video, I talked to you guys about overclocking laptops. Well, in the past, everything got so hot and everything that you could barely even overclock the laptops to 100 megahertz. But with Pascal laptops, you'll be able to overclock up to 300 megahertz and maybe even more, depending on the configuration from the manufacturer. And that's what I think is just really awesome. Manufacturers making complete notebooks that are geared from the ground up for not only running killer, but also to be overclockable on the go. Okay, so so far we can see that all the specs and everything are looking killer, all the features, VR works, all that stuff is all coming with this, but what about battery life? Because hey, what we're talking about here is portability and laptops, right? Well, battery life has been increased dramatically and Nvidia is gonna release their brand new battery boost. Now, the previous battery boost had some problems with it. All the issues were, were brought to their attention and fixed and now, Tomorrow, well actually the 16th, there should be a brand new patch that's come out which will fix all that. Now what the battery boost does is it allows you to play your game and set certain settings in the game to make your battery last longer. So say if you're at home, you know, you play with everything set at its extreme because you've got that plug from the wall, but you want to go on the road and still play. So what you can do is you can go inside the game and change the parameters of the game and change everything in there to make it so that your laptop can play your games and play them for a lot longer while you're on the go. Virtual reality is no longer something that people are just talking about. Virtual reality is now actually reality in gaming. It's not quite as far as like a holodeck in Star Trek, but it's getting there ever so slowly. And right now, NVIDIA has 30 games that they're working on for their VR works program, including this killer game called Raw Data, which I hear a lot of people are playing and liking it. Also, people are asking, hey, Will Ansel be available in this? Yes, I just wanna clarify this completely across the board. Everything that you can get 
on the desktop, GTX 1080, 1070, and TIG 60. Everything from the GDR5X memory to the GDR5 memory to everything like Ansel, which is Ansel is really cool. You can actually go into a game with Ansel, take pictures, edit those pictures, and you can go back into it in VR. And even if you didn't take the shot in VR, you can see the entire picture in VR which is really, really crazy. And you can also go and stop the game, and while you're in game, you can stop it and cheat like hell, move your character around, take a picture of it, and then adjust it, and you can even capture it in direct 360 mode. So you can see it in complete 360. So for those people wondering, hey, am I getting a laptop, but am I getting cut short? No, this is one of the absolute most incredible features that I think about the 10 series notebooks. No more M chipset. When you buy one of these 10 series notebooks, you're getting full Pascal, full video card stuff. And what we hear is rumored is like I said, is because these things are gonna be geared from the ground up, it's possible that some of these notebooks will be faster than even some of the desktops that we see on the market. Now, obviously you're gonna be able to build an X99 giant system and they're not gonna have that. But for anybody who's doing i5, i7, the competition is gonna be very scary, very scary and very stiff especially for Team Red. What do they got for laptops? And last but not least, before I bounce out of here, NVIDIA is claiming that they now have a notebook for every user. And here in this very last screenshot, you can see the different specs that are being offered on launch date, which will be tomorrow, August 16th. I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. There'll be links below to some of the information over on the NVIDIA site, and tomorrow morning, I'll have links to all these notebooks as they get released around the world. We'll see you guys back here on the channel. Looking forward to getting me a hold of one of those uh, 10 series notebooks. You know what I mean? You know what I mean?